chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water for your preparedness storage or your home kitchen. Purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. Incinerated to heat UK hospitals. Soylent Green, ladies and gentlemen, is made out of people. But now children are literally being passed through the furnace in order to fuel hospitals in the UK. They're being sacrificed on the altar of efficiency and prosperity. What is the secret of Soylent Green? The powdered flesh from dead babies. Some people believe they can cure disease. Because of its enormous popularity, Soylent Green is in short supply. Remember, Tuesday is Soylent Green Day. The supply of Soylent Green has been exhausted. You must evacuate the area. Today is Tuesday! The federal court ruled that the shareholders of PepsiCo, big Bilderberg Group company, are not allowed to know uh, what they're using the baby parts for in the flavoring, but we already know. So enjoy the flavor. We're going to get the real solution, which is going to be a combination of death panels and, and sales taxes. I'm consistently pro-death. I'm for assisted suicide. I'm for regular suicide. I'm for whatever gets the freeway moving. Is spending a million dollars on that last three months of life for that patient, would it be better not to lay off the, those 10 teachers and to make that trade up in medical costs? But that's called the death panel. Uh, and you're not supposed to have that discussion. They told me to, uh, to say that they were sorry, but that you had become unreliable. <laughs> Is this the kind of society that you want to live in? Any kind of society that would do this to its children 
will do it to its senior citizens. It will do it to its dissidents. That kind of society will also eventually turn on its police, on its army, on its prison guards, on the quislings and the collaborators who make that possible. This is nothing but a suicide cult. The scoops are on their way. The scoops are on their way. I repeat, the scoops are on their way. You will find out why Soylent Green means life. You will find out why Soylent Green means death. We gotta stop them! What is the secret of Soylent Green? Soylent Green is people! They'll be breeding us like cattle for food. You gotta tell them. All right, that is real newscast mixed with the 1970s, uh, early 1970s film Soylent Green. Or did it come out in 69? I forget. The point is uh, that there were mathematical equations put out in the 60s when they were claiming global cooling. And they, uh, the analogy at the major universities, it was putting the population bomb by. Um, the current White House science czar's boss, was it Paul Ehrlich? Yeah. And the point is that, and I was taught this in basically every class I had at community college before I got out. So it was all propaganda. I was about to go to UT and I said, what's the point? That there's too many people who are going to kill the earth, blah, blah, blah. The, even if you think that's true, it's about the elite having control, dehumanizing us and getting rid of an egalitarian free society and creating an authoritarian society. We're going back to Steve Quell to give him the floor right now. He's with us for the full two hours, uh, you know, just going back and forth with, with banter and commentary and analysis. But this is their program. And it's not my opinion. It's not Steve's opinion. They have to get us off the land. They have to pack us into the cities for social control. They don't want, quote, wild humans anywhere in the world. They want you in their system. They want you in the system now. And the system is not meant to create some wonderful egalitarian system. <clears throat> it is meant to end humanity as we know it. The elite are playing God. And you just, if you'll just read their writings and, and see the films I've made where I show their quotes. I mean, you see it in all the movies, you see it in the culture now where they push it. This is really happening. And I have an article right here out of the New York Post, mute stroke victim barred from LAX flight. Uh, the woman's uh, face was paralyzed, uh, couldn't talk, and uh, Sherry Wright, who was taking her family member through, explained that she's had a stroke. And they said, we don't care, lady, you're not going through if she doesn't answer our questions. TSA makes people in wheelchairs who can't get up. They don't let them fly. And it's, you see cops more and more tasering autistic kids walking down the street naked. Uh, or throwing people out of wheelchairs. They say, I know somebody in Austin. They said, get out of your car. And they said, well, my wheelchair's in the back. What are these? These are hand controls. No, look like nunchucks to me. And it's like, you know, wood coming out of the steering wheel. And he said, look, I'm paralyzed, chest down. And the cop, huge cop, beat him up. My, my friend sued him and then nothing happened. They promoted the guy to a like commander. And that was for the current police chief. But I, I, I just don't even know what to say anymore. It's just... It shows the mindlessness, and when you see these BLM people, I've run into them, they just shake with hate. I mean, they're trained, you are the enemy. I mean, I don't even think soldiers in most wars I've read about or heard about hated the enemy this much. They just killed them because they were trying to kill them. And in fact, reading a lot of history of war, a lot of times people kind of liked the enemy at a weird level and studied them and would even adopt some of their stuff, and the other enemy would adopt some of their stuff, and there was more honorable stuff involved. I'm not romanticizing war. I mean, the globalists, it's ideological. They are socialists. They are parasites. They hate us. And they, they do psychological testing for, for, in big departments now and the feds to hire mentally ill people who want to just dominate and control or who are so stupid they'll follow any order. And those tests have come out in national news. They want under 100 IQ now, the last 15 years or so. Not all departments do this. They want under 100 IQ and very autocratic authoritarian. Remember the TSA ad that said we want imperious people. Imperious mean acting imperial, lordly, like you're a slave. Now, this hour is brought to you by MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. Great organic, high-quality, storable foods. MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. 
And you can also give them a call at 866-229-0927. Great customer service, high quality. MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. And also, I've done an hour and 40 minutes and haven't really plugged anything. We're funded and have these reporters to send them to the Boston Marathon event anniversary coming up here next week. And that whole police state rollout uh, to send people out to Nevada to, to have the reporters, the writers, the nightly news, the whole infrastructure takes a lot of money. Even though we do it on the cheaps here in Austin, Texas, we couldn't do one tenth of this in some place like New York with all its you know, bureaucracy and cost. We need you to go to InfoWarsStore.com and buy the Molon Lambe Spartan shirts for men and women. We need you to go to InfoWarsLife.com and get the Survival Shield, to get the Fluoride Shield, the Super Mel Vitality, the high quality organic coffee from Southern Mexico with the Chiapas folks. We need you to get these high quality products. And I know when you use them, you've heard the rave reviews from listeners calling in, that you will continue to order them and support our operation. And I know times are tough. But it, your continued support of our operation is essential. And I want to thank you all for your support. InfoWarsLife.com to find the supplements that are the very best. Uh, InfoWarsStore.com for the books, the films, the t-shirts. All of it that's about getting the word out while supporting the tip of the spear in the InfoWar. And, and we are a platform for Steve Quayle and Rosa Corey on Gen 21 and Ron Paul and all these other incredible people you hear. They have their own platforms as well. We support those platforms. Because we're all in this together. This is not about being the big radio host. This is not about, uh, you know, who's the best or so many other talk show hosts that infight and all this garbage. Folks, this is real. Okay? We're now seeing the acceleration that we've predicted. We're not happy to be proven right. And so it is essential now more than ever that people understand that as the evil comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against it. Now, I'm going to shut up and literally turn my mic off and give you the floor to get into your sources, your analysis on the geopolitical power structure with the globalists running the U.S. and Europe, the Russians with their own crime syndicate, the communist Chinese, the Middle East, the funding of Al-Qaeda. Where is it all going? The global destabilization. Because I went and saw Captain America. Everybody said, Alex, it's like they listen to your show. It is literally... Everything they're planning, everything they've been doing, a criminal global group above the governments, playing them off against each other, hail Hydra. Why is Hollywood suddenly telling the truth? Steve Quayle, you've got the floor. Well, thank you, Alex. I think the reason that, that people are, are disconnected is let's use neuro-linguistic programming and the mind control that you brought up that all of the feds, when you broke the news on the Mayak report and all the other statements that were coming out of DHS and all of them making patriots, gun owners, Christians, homeschoolers, retired military, retired military officers, which, by the way, just in a couple weeks you broke that story. Now, military high-ranking military officers who have left over, uh, you know, matters of conscience or have been purged by the administration are now considered the top of the ladder. And I would warn all of them, and, and like, people didn't take me serious, Alex, when I said they're coming after the vets. You and I did a show years ago where I said they're going to try and come after the vets. They'll deny them health care treatment. They'll assassinate. And I'm on record, and I want to say it on your show. 22 people aren't, uh, 22 vets a day aren't just killing themselves. I believe that whole story, don't get me wrong, there are suicides, but I believe it's a cover for the intentional assassinations of veterans who are considered high risk. Well, you know, we know that they've been killing a lot of uh, investigators and fraud and things and always saying it's suicide. And they killed a bunch of admirals and people, remember, that were going to go after Clinton. Yep, Admiral Borda, uh, Jeremy Borda, he basically, when, when he was offed, okay, I mean, he was literally assassinated. I remember getting a postcard and seeing it, basically saying it was a CFR hit, okay? So people better wake, wake up and wise up because of the, we're all in the sights, and I appreciate what you say. You know, people in, in listening land, it's time to get active and get off your, uh, uh, you know, basically rear ends and start to realize that this is you we're fighting for. By the way, during the break, Alex, I got a, uh, an email from a former DHS official who I know personally. Okay, this is an anomalous or a nameless entity. And, and she, she's saying the swine virus is to eliminate invasive regular pigs to introduce the enviro pig. The enviro pig is basically a genetically altered pig. That's so why they're now saying the cows for the earth they are going to genetically engineer and outlaw all the others so they don't create methane in their flatulence. You got it. 
so here's the deal. And I also got an email from somebody I don't know answered to send me the uh, information that the tortoise, the I'm sorry, the desert tortoise. There's a new word. The desert tortoise thrives in areas where the cattle are because that's how 